and we're ready to go. On the left hand side is our Vegas editor file which plays like this. And on the right hand side is our rendered version which plays like this. And on the left hand side is our Muse Score new composition, Renew 1, which plays like this. And on the right hand side is our exported version to Ableton, which plays like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap. Composing for the New Era, Episode 17, Cycles, Kite, and Renew. In today's episode, we re-entered by saying we were feeling the urge to get back to the Keystep controller and the Ableton digital audio producer. And we did. Here it is. The keyboard's right in front of us. We also reflected on grinding to build up our skill sets, which we very much feel like we were doing with the uh, this project. There's several test renders in there. Um, we also reflected using our custom 233245 note scale is really developing our ability to compose on the fly. So Basically, we've finished this snowball animation and marched on into a new composition, which we're calling the Renew series. And for this one, we composed using the keyboard, uh, which is using our custom scale, which is are these notes, C, D, E flat, F, A. And so everything here on this score was entered from using the the uh, the key step, which is a MIDI controller, and uh, we even added a drone line here. So that was quite a lot of fun. Quite a lot of fun. It's a minute and a half of music, and it sounds pretty decent. It has five arcs in it. But what we really feel tickled about is getting um, exporting it as a MIDI file. We exported this. We know how we do that. Go File, Export, then you say MIDI, and then you send it down to the project folder, which is over here, and Renew, and there's the MIDI that we, we just composed. And then over here on the Ableton side, there is a, uh, took us a while to figure it out, but basically when you look at it from either point of view, um, up here there's a magic place where we <laughs> put in the MIDI file. So you can actually see the MIDI view on this side looks just like the MIDI view here. We've got a long, long playing Ooh. Let's let's solo it for a minute. And over here, if we solo it, we're gonna hear. But notice it's a very different sounding. It's called reverberant keys, whereas over here, we're just using a straight old clarinet. And then here, if we solo the top line. And over here, if we solo it, we're going to get this. And that is using something called SuperSign. Anyway, the point is, we went from the Keystep MIDI controller 
into MuScore on the left hand side and from MuScore we went into Ableton so it was a, it was a uh, three element network with with two transitions so what we're going to do is play the uh, the clarinet version we picked clarinet because we like the sound of clarinet a lot and we learned a lot of things doing this for example we learned that we could uh, over here uh, we had no problem no problem using the keyboard entering multiple notes at the same time and and that's a lot faster to do with with the MIDI controller uh, than it is clicking with the mouse the the challenge is <laughs> knowing which notes to enter on the keyboard and we program the keyboard so that it only plays um, the five notes of the C two three three two four four five scale so anyway here's what we've come up with enjoy So we enjoyed doing that quite a bit. We just realized we had accidentally soloed and left soloed. And again, if we listen to it in the Ableton version, it sounds like this. And amazingly enough, this one we also soloed the top. So we haven't even been listening to the drone, as we call it, that comes underneath. So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to post and share the Snowball Multimedia Composition video and continue the renew that you just heard and 
uh, to be determined. Shout outs to Steady Worker who kept us, kept our nose to the grindstone. We appreciate you. Do take care. Do come back. Tune in next time to see what happens. And do keep on streaming.